Hey guys, it's Andrew Harvey here with Walnut Ridge for another Feature Friday. So today I'm going to show you the Raptor 427. Awesome new floor plan from Raptor. Can't say enough about it. Uh, so let's get to it. Up front we're going to have a windshield. Now that is a true automotive style windshield. Now that sits over the kitchen. The kitchen's actually up front on this unit. Coming through the outside, we've got a nice big awning here. We've got another big awning back here. In this handy little compartment, we're actually going to have a refrigerator and a 32-inch TV. And just a little idea of some of the stores that we've got here. So we've got partial compartments over here, but then on the other side, you have a big open compartment, which is that side over there. So this is actually set up very closely uh, to our Montana 380 or 381 TH. This one does have just a slightly light, uh, wider uh, base to it so fitting trikes and stuff like that in there uh, is definitely possible with this so this is how it works this is actually the bed from inside this will go up uh, and then you can store anything that you want to store in here tie it down with the nice tie downs in here all that fun stuff and it's good to go ready to travel so coming back around this direction this is going to be your fuel station here. So we're going to have two separate 30 gallon tanks. We're going to have one for your generator and then we're going to have one for any toys that you want to bring along. With. So this is that storage I was telling you about here. So nice big open storage compartment there. Coming back around, this is going to be your, um, Kind of your central hub for everything we've got the key tv in there uh, all your wind rising bypasses everything is right there centrally located so it's easy to get to now this is equipped with a 5500 watt coming zone and generator that's stored in the underneath side right there now we're gonna head inside okay so now that we are inside the raptor 427 first thing i want to show you is going to be the kitchen area so once again this is up in the top part this is the very front of the camper so first thing you're going to notice we're going to have a convection microwave here three burner cooktop nice big oven as well there we go so lots and lots of countertop space lots of cabinetry in here as well so plenty of room for anything that you want to take on up here nice big refrigerator for everything if you're going out for you know, a month at a time, a week at a time, you'll have plenty of room for everything that you'll need. I kind of like the seating arrangement here. It sits over everything. So if you want to watch TV as you're eating or say you have some guests and not everybody can sit down there, you still have a kind of a centralized location. So it makes it easier to talk to everybody. Okay, down here in the main living area, these two couches are actually going to both, they will both fold out into beds. And then you're going to have a theater seating that is heated and massaging. That's going to sit right across from your 50 inch TV audio system. You're also going to have a 5400 uh, BTU fireplace in here as well. So plenty of heat coming off of that, or you can use it in just an ambiance setting. It does also have the built in vacuum system to it as well. Now one complaint you hear about campers all the time is there's not enough room in the bathroom, not a big enough shower. So this is a good size shower, it actually has a seat in here for you ladies. Plenty of room around the toilet, nice big countertop in here with a medicine cabinet. Then we're going to have some additional storage underneath, GFI outlets, all that fun stuff in here also. And into the bedroom, so as you can see, this bed does go all the way up, okay? Now, we've got some additional storage in here as well. This is actually washer-dryer hookup in here. Now, you can use that as hanging storage if you're not using a washer-dryer. Nice big wardrobe, closets on either side, and this unit does have three air conditioning systems in it. So if you guys have any questions, contact one of your salespeople, and we'd be glad to help answer them for you. This is Andrew Harvey with another, uh, I'm sorry, Feature Friday, and uh, thank you for stopping by.